Good morning, guys. Made my bulletproof coffee. With that vanilla ghee. I am so obsessed with that vanilla ghee. Obviously. I just ordered some last night before I went to bed because I'm like, I need that. It's really helped my coffee game with this dairy-free journey that I'm on. And just so you know, like, for my dairy-free journey, I'm including butter and ghee because those don't have, like, any sort of effect on me so far that I've noticed. So, good morning, guys. Cheers. I'm going to chill for about... 15 minutes and then wake the kids up and then start school. All right guys, so I'm gonna take my vitamins. I'm trying not to take my vitamin D late and I'm trying not to take my beef liver capsules late. So I'm gonna be taking my beef liver with my first meal, probably like when I break my fast with food, like protein and stuff. So I'll take my beef liver then, I'll probably take it again like um, before dinner or something like that. So I'm going to be taking this, my vitamin D3 with K2. I'm gonna be taking four drops of this right now and then I'm gonna take it again before dinner or like in the middle of the afternoon. I am also going to be taking my vitamin C right now. So I'm gonna take two of these and four drops of these and then I'll be taking my beef liver later. Down hatch. Some info if you guys wanna check it out. I did show this on my last full day of eating but not very many people watch that one. Okay, so I pulled out a couple packs of this bacon. This is just straight up standard hickory smoked bacon. And on the back, there's zero carbs. It is, um, you know, cured with sugar, but it's so minimal that it's just zero on the package. I've never done it this way. I, it was already thawed out and they were so super thin, it wouldn't have fit on my tray if I was gonna fold them in half like I normally do. And plus they would have like cooked too fast, I think. So I just like plopped them in a bunch of piles. So we'll see how it turns out together. So it's been almost 20 minutes, and I flipped them all over. They're looking pretty good. Now I'm gonna let them go for about, you know, I'll keep my eye on them. Maybe maybe another 20 minutes, we'll see. I had to move my oven over here because I normally have it here. Well, I rearrange things all the time because I just have no space. I had to dry my dishes because I wash everything by hand. Yep, so she's over there cooking the bacon. Dang. All right, so here's how the bacon turned out. You guys, it looks so good. Talk about lazy and easy and crispy, I'm pretty sure. I'm sure there'll be some chewy spots, but if you guys like that, then good. If not, then you can just cook it longer. Mmm. I'm drooling. I don't know if you can hear that. Let me swallow. Yummy. It looks so good. And I'm also going to put another pack in there. Because I know I'm going to get taxed. Look at this child crawling around like a wild animal. All right, I'm going to try. Because there's so much fat on it, it like melts in your mouth. Look at that. Mm. Maddie. That's my girl. So I just had six pieces of bacon. I started eating about one o'clock. I think it's like 1.30. So I've had six pieces and now I'm gonna take my beef liver and I take six a day. They look like. And I want bacon. Where's the bacon? Tell me. Vitamin A, B12. And the vitamin B12 is why I really shouldn't be taking these late. So I'm trying to take everything at a decent time throughout the day. Now I'm going to make myself an almond milk latte. I'm just going to use the same Don Francisco's that I did earlier. And I'm just going to brew myself a couple shots. And then I'm just going to put in a cup with some of this almond breeze, salt, and um, liquid stevia right here. I love this one. I'm running out. Look at how low it is. If you could even see. It's... So definitely gonna repurchase this. She wants me to squirt some whipped cream in her mouth. I made that for them. Obviously, I'm not touching it. Fine, fine, fine. Ready for it? Oh! This is um, heavy cream with stevia and vanilla extract and I just keep it in the fridge because this thing's awesome. Love it. Rinse off the top and keep it in the fridge. It lasts a, few, a couple days. When I worked at Starbucks they only gave it 24 hours but I would say a good like two or three days is fine if it lasts that long. So here's all the bacon grease I collected from those two packs of bacon. That's a lot of grease. I noticed that this bacon I got was more than half fat on one of the packs so I was like what the heck but it was tasty. And here is my iced almond milk latte this is tasting delish let me show you the bacon i think the bacon turned out super delish the bacon hit the spot normally 
When I eat bacon, it doesn't really hit the spot because I render it down so much. This had quite a bit of fat on it, so I think that's why it was so satiating. Normally I have eggs with bacon, but the bacon did me today. So Ryan and I just went to Target. Say hi, babe. Hello. <laughs> so I'm going to have three pieces of this. It's my favorite chocolate. Three pieces of the serving. 200 calories, 16 grams of fat, nine carbs, four net carbs, and four grams of protein. So I'm gonna have three pieces. I feel like Willy Wonka, or Johnny? Charlie. Charlie at the Willy Wonka the Chocolate Factory opening up my candy. A golden ticket. I don't care. <laughs> I'll do three. Whoop. So I'm going to grill this up, this meat. I'm gonna grill this up with just salt and pepper, and then I've got a whole avocado right here. It's probably about four and a half ounces. They usually are when they're about this size. And in here I have some dairy-free ranch. This is the Whole Sisters recipe, the Dump Ranch. I will go ahead and leave that link below. This is my favorite dairy-free ranch. So there it is, it turned out perfect. Anyways, so I'm gonna grill this up, and I'll show you guys when my dinner's complete. We're doing it easy, because it's already nine o'clock. So I wanna hurry up and get this done, and then show you guys what I got at the grocery store. All right guys, so I just pulled the burgers off the grill and they look good. I just took that meat and I just like had it in the bag and I just like kind of smashed it on my hands before I put it on the grill and made these six little tiny slider size beef nuggets or whatever you want to call them. There's my avocado with some citric acid, salt and pepper, some a couple tablespoons of dump ranch. And I'm going to pick out three of these for myself. And I'm going to give Maddie the other three. And then I'm going to get her bowl ready, and then I'm going to eat this with some Frank's Original. This one doesn't have the oil in it like the buffalo sauce does, because I don't want to eat that oil. So I just choose to do this. If you want to make this into buffalo sauce, all you have to do is mix this with some um, butter. So, But I'm not doing that, because I have like avocado, plus I had a lot of bacon, that, and then I had chocolate, and this. So it should be good. I might add some butter, but I think I should be good with the fat in the avocado and the dump ranch. So I'm not going to add any additional fat. But this looks good. If I'm still hungry, maybe I'll have like a fatty tea or something after the fact. I'm also going... Oh, I should have taken this earlier. I just didn't even think about it. I'll take it right now because I'm going to be up for a little bit. And then I'm going to take three of my beef livers as well. Anyhow, Maddie's just like, Mom, give me food. There's hers, all cut up. It's cooling off a little bit. And I got a new scale, guys. I'll show you guys later because Ryan's going to weigh in. But um, that's Maddie's meat cooling off. There's my three with the hot sauce, dump ranch, a whole avocado with citric acid, salt, and pepper, and two of those pickles. And those are my favorite class and pickles. Yum, yum. That's dinner with tons of salt on everything. All right, you guys. And if you are interested, this is Maddie's food. She's got the same amount of meat as I do. And this is her third meal today. And she has about two tablespoons of butter and a little bit of carrot. So that's what she's having today. And she's got salt on there as well. Are you my good girl? Stay. Okay, eat. Go ahead. That's my girl. She knows what's up. She loves meat and butter. With a little bit of veggies is okay. She does green beans, carrots. Um, she likes... Um, cucumbers a little bit. She does pork rinds for snacks. She does sardines, fish. She's a spoiled dog and she's my baby. If you guys have not tried the Dump Ranch yet, I highly recommend it. It's absolutely delicious. It really helps with dairy-free. Like, look at that. It's so good. Always wants more. So let's do a perfect bite right here. It makes, it reminds me of, um, Dat Keto Lady, she does like the perfect bite thing. Here we go on that perfect bite. Oh yeah, baby. Oh wait guys, just kidding. I found a new perfect bite. So you get the meat. Okay, perfect bite. The meat and the sauce. Get an avocado on there without messing it up. And then you get a pickle on there. Oh yeah, baby. Safe to say we knocked that out. That was good. I love you, you beautiful child. Oh, you're such a beggar. You need to go. I'm gonna let you outside. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm gonna be nice. All right, baby, you doing weighing? Yes. 205.4. Can I try? Can I try? Ooh, my girl, 41.6 pounds. My angel. You're gonna be a kindergarten soon. Okay, I can Say hi, Mom. Woogie, woogie, woogie. Woogie, woogie. 
<laughs> Alright you guys, so this whole counter is so packed. I wanted to show you guys what we got from the store. We went to Target, but we only got really a scale there in the chocolate that I got. But we went to Stater Brothers and then we loaded up. We've been needing to go grocery shopping, like big grocery shopping. So, And Ryan is um, attempting keto again. So we did his little weigh-in tonight on our new scale. But even though we're, he's probably going to end up weighing in again tomorrow. Because it's better to take your weight at the same time in the morning after you go to the bathroom, like naked or with underwear on, that sort of thing. So it was kind of just like for fun because our new scale is awesome. Anyways, I'm going to show you what I got from the store. These pork rinds because Maddie and I are obsessed. We like to snack on these. I also got a cucumber, these nori wraps, this crab meat because I'm going to make some sushi. We got some avocados to go with it as well. Let's get the veggies out of the way. We got some baby bella mushrooms. I will be having these. Some frozen green beans, always a staple to keep in the freezer. Got some broccoli. The kids really enjoy eating broccoli. I don't tend to eat broccoli that much because it bloats me like a crazy, but I like to have the kids eat it because they actually enjoy it, and it's one of the vegetables that they'll eat. I try to eat an avocado a day. I got four pretty ripe ones, so I'm just going to throw them in the refrigerator and just pull them out as needed. I also picked up some sardines because I haven't tried these ones, and i am kind of like been trying a lot of sardines. I hope these ones have the skin on them and the bones in them because all the other ones that I saw at the store were skinless and boneless, so I'm hoping that these are good and they just have they're lightly smoked with extra virgin olive oil and salt we got some oven roasted turkey breast this is just gluten free zero carbs no artificial ingredients minimally processed looks good and it does if it, if it has any unfavorable ingredients I always make sure that it's after the 2% or less so less than 2% and then like the unfavorable things. Otherwise, it would just be best just to, you know, make your own meat and slice it. But this is for convenience purposes. These ones are a little bit more expensive than meats that I got. But um, it's better than like the regular like budding lunch meat and stuff like that. So if you're going to do lunch meat, you want to try to make sure that it doesn't have any carbs. Or if it does, it's like minimal. This one has one carb per serving for four slices, which is really good. Especially if you're just going to use like a slice and, you know, chop it up inside of your eggs or something. Some sort of sugar, which isn't ideal. I don't normally get this, but I thought it might be good to switch it up a little bit since I'm doing dairy-free and I don't want to be totally bored. We also picked up some wieners. The kids like these ones. Ryan likes these ones, so it's good to have, whoops, on hand. And so they're one carb each. And I don't normally just look at the carbs, I normally look at ingredients as well. And this one is not the best, but um, the kids like them, Ryan likes them, and they're good on occasion. I'll eat these like maybe in like a chaffle, but lately I'm not doing cheese, so I just do um, scrambled egg and, and make it into a waffle. Just something to make it easy to hold a hot dog. Ryan loves pepperoni, and since he's doing low carb and then transitioning to keto, we decided to get him some pepperoni, so we got him a couple packs. Also, to go with it, a huge thing is string cheese, so he's going to be doing like the pepperoni, frying them up in the, in the microwave, and then doing a snack with the fried pepperoni and string cheese. I picked this up because I thought it looked delicious. Three different types of meats. We have dry copa, Italian dry salami coated with black pepper, and prosciutto. And there's macros if you guys are interested. I thought that would be really good to have on hand with some olives maybe, um, with some homemade mayonnaise. Delish. Four pack of these huge bone in skin on breasts for six bucks. I like to buy these when they're on sale so I'll usually get one if I see it at the store. We picked up two 18 count eggs even though we're stocked up. We go through eggs a lot. Um, I like to fry up some eggs in the morning or like late morning when I do breakfast usually around like noon actually afternoon one o'clock. Sometimes I'll do breakfast and I'll have like some fried eggs. Maddie's been eating fried eggs with the yolk and stuff like that. And then Ryan loves these, like crispy cheese. These are for, for convenience as well and like something to snack on. So he likes the Asiago, so these are just cheese crisps. And it's just made with Asiago cheese. That's that. Zero carbs. So Ryan also picked up some Jello for a snack. This one I would recommend this, even though it has aspartame, I would recommend this over the box jello that you make yourself because that one has maltodextrin and that spikes blood sugar and this one doesn't. So it might cause you cravings, but if you're going to do a pre made jello, do this, not the box stuff. We also picked up some sweet butter lettuce. I like this one and the kids like this one and Elliot likes this one too. So we all share. Going through some of these meats here, we got some frozen chicken tenders. I like to do butter chicken with this. I'll just throw this in a like a dish 
put like a whole stick of butter for a whole bag of chicken tenders, a ton of um, pink salt, onion powder, garlic powder, and pepper, and just let it bake in the oven. I'll turn them once, and it's just delicious butter chicken. And I got some liver, a couple things of ground beef. I like to get the leaner end of ground beef, especially because this isn't like um, grass-fed or anything, so it's more ideal to add like a, a healthy fat with a leaner meat. And this isn't the leanest that they had, but um, it was like the leanest for the best price I could get. And we shop in the deals. So also picked up some bacon, some more bacon. And then here's my happy, happy meat right here. We got some filet mignon. Ryan picked this out. A big, huge roast so we can slice our own steaks. And then we also got three pounds, I think actually... But yeah, almost three and a half pounds of flap meat. I can live off of flap meat and avocado. So definitely wanted to get some of that. And then moving on to Ryan's drinks. He was so thirsty when we went to the store. So he loaded up on zero sugar drinks. These are not ideal. Obviously, if you're doing keto and you want to like cut out like the the fake sweeteners and stuff like that. This has acetylene potassium and probably sucralose and aspartame and all that stuff. So if you're just starting out, this is better than, you know, regular sugar soda and regular sugar juice. So if you're going to wean yourself off of that, this is an option you can do. So zero sugar fruit punch I saw at the store. Um, this is one carb for eight ounces, so one carb per cup. And it does have a little bit of natural juice in there and stuff. So I figured that would be like okay, you know, for him because he's drinking regular Pepsi right now and, you know, that's better than regular Pepsi in my opinion. And he also wanted to try these diet Sprite. So he got diet Sprite, so Power Eight Zeros, he got those. He also picked this black cherry sparkling water up. It's made with aspartame and acetylene potassium. So, oh yeah, we also got a printer because my other printer took a crap. We've had it for so long since me and Ryan first got together. Um, so it's been a while. I think my eyelash is falling off. My eyelash is literally falling off right before your eyes. Anyways, I'm gonna go because I need to take them off very badly. Anyways, I hope you guys liked this video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.